Okay, top of the hour. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you all for being here, and um, we're going to get going. So for those of you who haven't been on one of these before, welcome. For those of you who have, thank you for coming back. We do these every Wednesday at uh, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, what I like to do is, just to give you a quick review, what I do is I take people that I'm working with as various kinds of partners and address any kind of issues and problems that we're having. So, uh, Bill, I know you can hear me, but you're muted. You may want to get someplace where you're more of a in a quiet area, if possible, so that we can have a conversation, if not. So, um, before we uh, do anything more, first thing I like to do is just to, uh, to go over what I've been doing recently. Uh, Bill was nice enough to help me on last week's call because I was unavailable. And on this week's call, I wanted to talk to you about a number of things. Um, specifically, I did a webinar with a guy who, uh, who's actually made uh, quite a bit of money doing podcasts. And I'm anxiously waiting to review his materials because he actually has documented that he's made like, like literally 8 or $10 million from his podcast. So I'm curious to hear what he's doing. But first, let me just bring you back to uh, a couple things here. And we'll first go to my site, which is fredgleek.com. And this is something where I'm working on doing some things here. But again, for all of you who are new, best place to go when you first get here is to this, the free information marketing training link, which is in red. And if you go there, you put your email address in here, and you'll be able to get this very, very exhaustive, um, it's about a 59 or 60 part course here on information marketing, steps one through seven, that I think will be invaluable to you. If you haven't gone through that, you should, and uh, that's free. All you have to do is give me your email address, I'll send you an occasional email, uh, nothing spammy, so please take advantage of that. Uh, I'm also going to be redoing a program I leave for New York City on, when is it, next Thursday, I believe, and I will be redoing a program with my good buddy Bob Bly, and we're recording that. I actually come into New York on Wednesday night, and on Thursday during the day, Bob Bly and I are re-recording the most popular program that we have done together, and uh, that will be made available to anybody on my list at a very preferential rate. So make sure and check your email for that as well. Okay, so please uh, take a look at that. I always like to uh, just give you an update on some of the JV partners. Um, right now, I've got uh, Bill DeWeese, who is, of course, at voice-over-training. So let me put that site up here so you can all see. Voice-over-training.org. And uh, Bill is having quite a bit of success with a, a fairly small list. So now... Uh, what he is doing, which many of you should do, is the first thing he's doing, the, the, the way that he's created a bunch, of a, pro, a bunch of the products that he has for sale is by recording, recording live events. And in doing that, he immediately had for himself, uh, and he recorded two different live events, I think now maybe three, in which he's got, and the way that you'd find those for him, and again, this is not an area that most of you will have an interest in, but I just wanted to show you how he put this together. So he's got this thing called the VoiceOver Playbook Marketing Plan, the Audiobook Success Seminars. So if you click on this, it takes us to a completely different site. And now you can see the what fastest. she's going to start talking. And uh, this particular seminar, I think he's not, he's not promoting the seminar itself, but he's pl promoting the audios and videos. You may want to take a look at that because that is literally the fastest way for you to get a product up and going is by recording a live event, making sure you do a few things. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, attend recently a documentary film class in which I learned a lot about lighting. But one of the things is for those of us who are just doing content-based videos, uh, I always use one line which I think is always appropriate, which is that people will always, and I capitalize always, um, Forgive. Now, this is in the content business. Poor production quality. They will never forgive poor content. And so 
it's important that you realize that because so many people spend their time obsessing about making their videos and audios absolutely perfect. Again, it's always good to have them in good shape. I used to let, uh, if my dogs barked when they were still around, I would let those dog barking sounds stay in the video, uh, in the audios or the videos because I really wasn't as concerned and I frankly didn't want to make them sound and, and be too polished because I think that actually makes it worse. So um, make sure and just get them done rather than obsessing about it. So recently, though, um, I have added a couple of different uh, joint venture partners and uh, am, am working on a number of different things. One of the things that uh, you will find is people, you, you can't really twist people's arms to do anything and uh, expect it to work out. For example, um, I had, you know, I was working with a guy who... Uh, who was trying to put together some video products and um, I kept trying to set times and I, you know it just never happened so what I did is I just laid back and did nothing um, and again I don't I would encourage you to find people who are willing to work with you if you're looking for partners rather than someone whose arm you have to twist because anybody whose arm you have to twist obviously not a good relationship so uh, one of the things I want to do and Bill you let me know when you're in a quiet area where you can talk uh, by sending me something, a question or something in the question box, that'll help because Bill Ballou is on and I wanted to talk to him about a few things when he has a chance. Um, one of the things that we are now, that Bill and I are now doing, and Bill is, uh, Bill, are you there? Not yet in a quiet area, I take it. Okay. So, um, one of the things that we yeah, yeah, I'm here. Is this work? Pretty noisy. Pretty noisy. Um, Probably not a good idea. Uh, yeah, much too noisy, Bill. Yeah. Um, so it's it, it's important that everybody understand when you put the product together, like Bill and I just completed a product on traffic that we're going to show people at some point soon. And Bill, if you can send me that URL through the question window, I can put that in just to make sure I have it right. Um, and I always forget because I think it's a .NET. So... This traffic program, so program on traffic, which is generating traffic for your site. And we have a program that we've put together for that that was recorded. Uh, Bill came in to my place in Nevada, and we recorded it using uh, you know, PowerPoint presentations that he had put together. So this is the kind of thing that many people would have an interest in, but I just want to show you a few things. Again, please feel free to copy this particular site that Bill DeWeese put together for a seminar, or again, you can use another one of my sites, which works fairly well, uh, which is Fred, whoops, Fred Info, Fred Info, whoops, Fred, F-R-E-D, Info Bootcamp. And this site is another good template for you if you want to put together a seminar. This has an auto start, so I'll stop the video as soon as it gets started here. And you may want to go ahead and, and copy this almost, you know, just use the same exact system that I have here. Uh, headline at the top, you know, I've got what's called a prehead, and this, this ain't your grandma's seminar, it's a prehead. This is the headline. Notice it's in a different color and it's in quotes. That tends to work better. And then we really have the post head here. So there's the prehead right here, the headline right here, and the post head right here. And then you see generally, and this pattern works fairly well, a video promoting the event with me talking directly with your camera, uh, some quotes, uh, written quotes, as well as a number of videos here from people who I have worked with. These are people that have either uh, were participating in the boot camp and ans answering questions or giving a presentation. So go through this site and see what you can come up with. The next one, by the way, coming up September the 7th through the 14th. So you may want to check this out as well. But use this as a template uh, going back and forth between taking a look at Audiobook Seminar and the Fred Info Boot Camp site and seeing whether or not. And by the way, all of these webinars, virtually all of them, are recorded at, uh, on my site as well. So to get to that, you would merely click on webinars here and you can see all of the webinars that have been recorded and you can just go through them and there's a lot of them. Um, 50, 60, 70, 80, I'm not sure how many there are. Going back all the way back to 
2010, March 24th. So it's now over two years of webinars that I've been doing. And again, all of these are free. Now, why would I be giving these away for free? There's a lot of value, valuable content. And that's because I want to first introduce people to who I am, let them know I've got some solid content. So please feel free to go through and watch as many of the previous webinars as you can, you can handle. And again, free to you. Now, what, the reason for that is eventually people who go through my materials will, you know, eventually end up buying something from me if they think that I'm good and, and, and like my content. So I would encourage you to do that. Also, Bill, when you can hear me, I'm still waiting for you to send me the URL via the question screen for the site on traffic. So I'm not sure I know what that is. So when you get a chance, send that to me. Yeah, it's in the chat window. Okay. Um, it's in the organizer and panel. It's only chat window. Yeah, there's there's nothing in the, the, the chat. Oh, okay, chat window. Okay, check that out. Gotcha. Perfect. Um, and again, you're a little bit loud and noisy, so you may want to mute that. Okay. So here's here is the here is the 10k get10k.net site. And again, this was a very hastily put together site, but it gives you some of the elements that you want to have. Um, traffic secrets, finally a way uh, to get, we've left out, we've got to do some proofreading here, to get free internet traffic to your site. Who else wants a system to generate a flood of new visitors to your site? So we've got some copy here, some bullet points, and then finally an order system. And by the way, this is at currently at pre-publication pre, pre prices. If you click on this, you're going to get uh, $97 is what it is right now. So that might be something you want to take a look at. So um, Take a look at that because it'll help you to understand our system, and it really is a great way to get sort of a lot of traffic coming into your site doing that. Now, a few other things here that I wanted to sort of highlight for you is that I just got an order, and this is interesting. The, the, the site that I just showed you on, on generating traffic is going to be a, a site where when you pay your $97, you get access to all these videos. And you can watch them on your computer. They're not downloadable at this point. We set it up that way intentionally. And one of the things that I have done is over the last two or three years, I have, I've got both physical products. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Uh, I've got both physical products. Physical. And I'm going to move this over. Digital. Okay, now what I've done is originally I would say have a physical product for $127 and a digital for say $97. It's now to the point where my physical products, I'll just P, uh, are equal to three times digital or more because I don't want to be fulfilling product orders for physical products. However, Give you an example. I just recently, just a few days ago, got an order for it because now because these prices were what they were, got an order for about twelve hundred dollars uh, from one person for about five or six physical physical products. Now, believe me, I don't mind fulfilling an order um, where where the you know, somebody orders physical products, it's sort of a pain in the neck to send them out because I prefer doing digital products. But if somebody's willing to pay the literally the three, and I would recommend you do three to four times more in terms of pricing for your digital. So, for example, you know, generally a 77, I'm, I'm setting it up now so that a $77 digital product sells for a minimum, and this isn't quite 3x, of $197 or even 247 or perhaps even 297 so because I'm making it so that people will not want to buy the physical products given the discrepancy in price between the physical and the digital so I'd encourage everyone to sort of follow my lead on that because I don't know how you're doing it but if you do decide to to uh, to have physical products the place that I'm recommending that you go to and let's put up another tab here is Kanaki, and they are at Kanaki.com. I will let you know that these folks do not have, some people have poor customer service. These people have no customer service. Repeat, no customer service. 
So that means if you're willing to work with them, you have to play by their rules. Now, in order to work with Kanaki, here's what happens. You have to upload, using a PC, you cannot use a Mac, your DVDs and or CDs. So what does Kanaki do? Kanaki is in the business of creating and creating and fulfilling physical products, DVDs and CDs. So Kanaki is in the business, and let me just put this up here. So Kanaki, K-U-N-A-K-I, does creation and distribute and, and shipping of physical CDs and DVDs and DVDs. So these guys can do that, and they do it really, really cheap. Uh, CDs or DVDs, you see that right here. I don't know if, I, if you can see this, but CDs or DVDs. It includes full color CD printing, jewel case, blah, 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 all these things for a buck a piece, either CDs or DVDs. This price is ridiculous. Um, I mean, it's so low that you couldn't help but do it. Now, they will charge you that price for the physical CD or DVD, and they will also charge you whatever the actual shipping charges are. And if you order, now here's what's fascinating about these guys, okay? So it's a buck a piece. Now let's put in pricing. So let's say that we wanted to order some DVDs in a, in a jewel case. Now let's go with a DVD case. And let's put in, instead of one, let's put in, let's say we want 15 of them. Let's say it's going to my home state here of Nevada and my zip code is 89012. Now watch this, okay? 15 is the quantity, and invoice with shipping. So now, let me just show you this. Your cost for 15 units per DVD goes up, not down. So they actually encourage small orders. Now notice, they're shipping via USPS media mail. You can also ask them to ship it a different means. So 15 of these, my unit cost. Now let me go back in here and put in one and show invoice with shipping. One, the cost per unit is a dollar. So by ordering more units, <laughs> it's absurd, I know. You actually pay more per unit as opposed to everything else you've ever seen in life where the more you order, the less it costs. So this is built for people who are doing small quantities, mostly people like you and me who are information marketers, not people who are doing you know, hundreds of thousands of DVDs for distribution for the film or video business, whatever it is. Now notice also, you can choose your method of shipping. Now, the way that they do this is once you have uploaded, you upload not only your, your CDs or DVDs, you upload your artwork, which is for the outside of the jewel case, or the DVD case, whatever you're using, you upload the artwork. And so they basically take your artwork, they print a cover for it, and they do, I mean, this isn't the best job in the world, but for these prices, again, if you're going to be doing physical products, uh, this is the way to do it. Now, what they do is you have to put money using your credit card into their system, and then they deduct from it. They will not charge you sort of as you go. So you need to sort of put $200 or 100 bucks in the kitty and once they're done, once that money has been depleted, either for the actual physical production of the product or for the shipping charges, you have to add more to it. So this is a company that I want you to use. But again, please have no, I mean, zero expectations in terms of the quality of their customer service because there is none. Now, frequently, frequent questions. Um, here's one that says, blah, blah, blah. There are many ways to use Kanaki. What is good about Kanaki? What is bad about Kanaki? Here you go. Kanaki is not for everyone. Kanaki operates more like a machine than a business and does not offer, repeat, does not offer a personalized service. We don't engage in active marketing, sales, or public relations. We never offer discounts or deals. We don't offer affiliate or partner programs. The Kanaki machine is operated and managed by software rather than a management team. Okay, so in other words, don't expect you know, you know, anybody to answer your phone calls. Doesn't have it. Does your software work with Mac? No. You need a PC. Doesn't matter. So they don't care. It's basically take it or leave it. But again, they do a great job for what they do. And if you have a physical product, this is probably the way to go. I would encourage you to use Kanaki and uh, have them be your partners in sending out physical products. Again, 
I'm, I'm encouraging you. So now there are a couple of different ways when you create and sell a digital product, right? So if you're doing Kanaki for physical products, now we're going to talk about digital products. So we talk about digital products. You have sort of two options there as well. You can either send people, you know, actually two options, which is number one is downloadable or streaming. And this is true for both audio and video products. So you can either have people click on a link and download your audio or video products, or you can have them streamed, which means they are playing from your server, and usually you're going to use a server like Amazon S3, and if this gets complicated, don't worry about it, just understand the concept. So you're going to, you're going to have your audio and video uploaded somewhere to some big hard drive in the sky, and when people click on it, they will be able to watch it online on their computer if it's streaming or you can send them a link and they can download it so they can have it on their own computer. Now there are a couple benefits to streaming and there are a couple benefits to downloading obviously. If someone is streaming your material because the cost of streaming is so low they stay on your site longer and that's one of the criteria that Google uses to rank your site which is how long do people stay on your site. So if people are streaming a lot of videos off your site they stay on your site for a long time and you get, you know, Google gives you points for that. Uh, how much, I don't know, but I know that it's helpful if people stay on your site longer rather than shorter. The other option is downloadable. The problem with downloadable is once you send it to a customer, they can basically do anything they want with it. They can send it to another customer, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're really uptight about your material being passed around, then downloadable is not the way for you to go. Um, you should instead be doing something with streaming. And streaming, the best way to do that and this is something that, you know, once Bill DeWeese is in the process of, of doing all this and creating all these kinds of things, and as he's doing it, he's taking notes, and we're going to put together a product that all of you will be able to get access to, which is to show you exactly how to do this stuff, which is a little bit complicated if you've never done it before, but once you've seen it in action, it's really not that bad. So you've got, again, you've got those two options for your digital products, and with Kanaki, Again, they do both uh, physical, they do CDs and DVDs. So that's the way that I would recommend that you do it. So uh, again, I see some uh, more people joining us. Thank you very much for being here. So now what I wanted to do is open it up for some questions at this point. So in your question box, what I want you to do is type in a question on anything we've covered so far having to do with either the seminar site, uh, Kanaki, physical, or digital products. So type it right now in your little question bar a question box that is in the system there. So please go ahead and enter your questions now because this is all about providing, usually what I do is have a conversation with the JV partners and since uh, Bill has a little bit of uh, an audio issue this week, what I wanted to do is get your, you know, your questions directly. So feel free to ask those questions because it's a whole lot better for you if you have questions. And again, no question is stupid. There's no stupid questions here. Ask any question that comes up in your head uh, about this process of doing physical CDs or DVDs uh, or doing seminars and how to put up sites for those. So put in the question box now and I will be happy to answer them for you. So I know we've got plenty of people on the webinar. Now is your chance rather than uh, sitting there and just listening to me yak, which gets really, really boring. Uh, you may want to do it. Of course, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch Axelrod should be asking a question at this point because I'm sure he has one, but he's shy, and uh, he should be asking a question. Mitch, what is your question? Go ahead. Throw it at me. I encourage you to do it. Um, anyone else? Anybody with questions? Anyway, so um, let's, let's see here. Uh, got your audio back on again there, Bill. Um, Bill, you want to mute your audio for us? So I just muted uh, Bill. So, okay. Uh, can you drop ship through Kanaki once it's uploaded? And in fact, Terry, that is exactly what Kanaki does. Terry's question is, can you drop ship through Kanaki? That's what Kanaki is all about. They're about creating your physical product and shipping it for you. So yeah, you can order a bunch of these yourself, but I would not encourage you to do it. That's the beauty of Kanaki is there's a, is there a similar service Tom is asking from Amazon. You know what? If they're If they're doing it, uh, I don't know about it, and it's not nearly as good as Kanaki, um, as far as I know. So 
Tom, if you know more about that, I don't. Um, and I've been using Kanaki is cheap and reliable. They will both produce the physical products and mail them for you. Um, if you know something more, Tom, than I don't about Amazon offering services. Now, Amazon is offering some other services. For example, I use them for, you know, for hosting all of my audio and video, and they, they're great. They have this service called Amazon S3, and that is excellent. So again, here's Kanaki. Feel free to go to their, their site and do that, and yes. So remember, I, I don't know if you were on, Terry, with the drop shipping question, but the, the prices, um, oh, yeah, Terry, you're talking about Create CreateSpace is for, I guess, I've used them primarily for my books, and by the way, that's what I use for all the books. So if you have a book, CreateSpace is the place to go. Uh, I'm not real pleased with their level of service, and CreateSpace, of course, is at, let's, let me just show you that so you know what it is. Let me add a tab here. Uh, so it's CreateSpace, whoops, CreateSpace.com. In CreateSpace, I have all my books, so when you go and order something of mine, a physical book on Amazon, let's see here, why is this not coming up? Oops, everybody give me that. Create, oh, let's see here. Yeah, well, it's Create Space. So go there and, and do that. So Create Space, Create Space. Eh, you know what? Forget it. Let's just, anyway, go to Create Space. Um, they will have it. Any other questions from anyone? That, I heard a rumor. Okay, here's Scott. Strava heard a rumor about YouTube offering another option. Um, of delivering vis videos privately, much like having it streamed on Amazon S3. Have you heard anything, anything like this? The answer is I have not, Scott. I, I, you know what? I have heard some rumblings about this. Scott's question is, is, is YouTube going to compete against Amazon for private, privately hosted videos? Um, I think, you know, I think that that's, I've heard something about that. And Scott, if you know more about it, um, you know, let me know. Because I don't. Any other questions? Any other good ones? Always, always good. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so Bill's question is, his son is doing a music recording. Do you recommend he sell his individual CDs to those who want it via Kanaki? Um, Kanaki is certainly a good service for doing reasonably priced CDs. So if he's going to sell the physical CDs, I would say yes. Um, now, the problem is that sometimes the quality of the cover art that they do is kind of, it's kind of suspect. So if he uploads some good art, you, they, Kanaki, once you set up an account with them, when you, when you upload your first uh, either DVD or CD to them, they always send you a copy for free of whatever it is you, you are, you're physically creating. So it's probably worth it for you to take a look and have him upload it and see what the quality is and whether or not he's happy with that. But I'm expecting that his, uh, his response will be yes. It is very easy to do so that anyone who wants to run a business, you know, selling, whether it's music or information products, uh, should do it with, um, with Kanaki just because it's super, super easy. And again, until I hear otherwise, that's who I'm recommending. Um, any other questions on that? Okay, so let's take a look then back at the information product seminar here, the Fred Info Boot Camp that I do usually about four times a year. This is, and I schedule these about three months apart. People come to my house here in Las Vegas and we do almost a week, six and a half, well, basically seven days. And you create your own product and we get you going with everything. So this, I'm showing you this because I want you to use it as your template for creating your seminar site if you do one. And by the way, the quickest way to do this, and let me just give you an example. So I've been having a lot of discussion with, with a, a few of my partners that are in the poker niche. So we got poker, right? And by the way, uh, I think we have that set up at poker. It's not really completed yet. Yeah. PokerCashGameGuru.com. This is going to be what the site is going to look like. We just haven't really done a whole lot yet. Um, and I just put some dummy copy in there that's unrelated. So this is showing people how to make money playing poker. Now, with this particular site, you know, we were thinking about, well, what products should we create? How do we create them, et cetera, et cetera. The quickest way 
to create a product is to hold a seminar. So what we're going to be doing is we're looking into probably on, we're thinking about, I forget what, if we're doing something like Friday, uh, you know, something like 3 to 6 p.m., and then Saturday, you know, at 11 to 2 p.m., um, in, in Las Vegas, somewhere on the Strip, so the people coming into town can go to this seminar. And so what we could do is if we record, you know, a few of these seminars, we now instantly have both audio and, and video products available to sell, which is kind of nice. So a great way to create some products for yourself, and I know Scott Straub, who's online here, has done this. Uh, Scott, you did record some of your seminars, didn't you? I think you did. Um, as you answer that question, Scott, for me, Robert has a question, which is in terms of selling info products, do you have any suggestions for payment gateways that do not require credit approvals, such as merchant account? Um, if you're looking for any kind of payment gateway, Robert, without merchant or credit card approval processes, just use PayPal. So his question is, you know, can you be doing it? Also, if you're using Web Marketing Magic, which is what I recommend you do to set up all of this stuff. So again, it's webmarketingmagic.com, and we can take a look at that here by going to Web Marketing Magic. This system will, if you set it up, will allow you to take PayPal as well as credit cards or just PayPal if that's what you decide to do. The problem with that, Robert, and I don't know if it's a credit's the issue right now for you, if it is, then just go with PayPal because lots of people are getting really comfortable using PayPal for everything. Um, it, it's, there's also Google Checkout and things like that, but I think that long-term you're going to want to have a merchant account because it's, it's really going to make a big difference because some people aren't yet comfortable with PayPal or they just, they just feel a little bit more like you're a real merchant, quote-unquote, if you have a, you know, something to take credit card. So that's something to consider. I'm not saying you have to do that, but it'd be a good idea. But Robert, yeah, just just get people to give you PayPal. So if you're using web, web using Web Marketing Magic, which Web Marketing Magic is a complete, it's an all-in-one online marketing system, and I mean it does everything. Everything that I do, I could not run my business, any part of it, without this program. I use it myself. I have for over ten years. There's it, it last year it did over a billion with a B dollars worth of transactions in the whole company of which Web Marketing Magic I am I have a this is a licensed piece of software so I would highly recommend that you do that um, yeah well yeah, question is of course PayPal will allow you to put in a credit card but it just doesn't look nearly as as nice as if you have your own credit card processing system and I would encourage everybody to do that as well. Um, Okay, so Scott is saying when he did his workshop, he did it, worked out fairly well, uh, and when he couldn't get together a live seminar, he recorded a workshop uh, with a couple people in the room to make it seem like it was a workshop. So yeah, if you're having problems getting people to a live event to record a seminar, to create a product, then what you do is you get a bunch of friends to agree to come over and you buy them pizza and beer, and they sit there and, and listen to you going through your stuff. And uh, Scott, that was the, one of the ways. And by the way, Scott... I'm just curious, are you using Kanaki for, for, your, uh, for your duplication and distribution? Scott Straub, or is that what you're using? Because Scott, and uh, by the way, we can promote Scott's uh, website. Scott, you know, in the chat window, just tell me what's the best, um, something about better grades and less time is that, tell me what it is so I can put it in here and people can see it. Because Scott does a lot of work uh, showing kids um, how to be more successful in school, okay, um, and Scott says yes, he does use Kanaki, he loves it, um, okay, one of the things that, that Bill is sharing is the idea of of using a meetup group, and we'll talk about that, we've talked about that here before, but let's let's take a look at Scott's site, which I love this, this is a great, 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 uh, you fast.com, there we go, okay, good grades fast. So, here it is. Here's Scott. So now, Scott, um, I assume that if we stay, let's take a look here. Hello, everybody. 
I'm Professor Scott Straub, and if you're looking for study skills to help you get the edge in school, you've come to the right place. And whether this is for you or someone you care about, you see, there are certain skills, there are a certain set of skills and habits that if you learn and master them, anyone can improve in school. And how do I say this, and why do I say this with confidence? Because when I was a younger learner in middle, high school, and then my first couple years of college, I struggled greatly. In fact, I was practically failing out. And I learned a few habits and a few skills that changed my life. I went on not only to survive, but thrive and get on the dean's list and get a 4-0 in my graduate work. And now I teach college students these same skills. I teach college students. I teach high school. So anyway, Scott Sight is basically showing uh, kids how to make uh, better grades in school. And uh, again, he's got a lot of stuff. So if we click on products and programs, Scott, I assume that we'll be able to see what the offerings are here. Students and parents click here, schools and educational programs. Okay, so let's assume I'm a parent or a student. Click here. Okay. And so this is what I can get here now. And then we've got people who are giving testimonials, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we get down here. So I look at all these and I say, okay, I want to order this. 200% money back guarantee. Wow, that's great. Pay you double the amount you paid. I want to improve my grades. Click here now. And so here's what you get. You get all this. And it's 97 bucks. Yeah. Um, and I take it then that this was, Scott, something that you put together and um, you were able to get this all produced and have Kanaki send it out for you. That's great. Um, so I would encourage you to, uh, to take a look at Scott's site, you know, take a look at Bill's site here, um, you know, go through the webinars that we have and do that. So any other questions on anything else that uh, we, we want to cover here because I'm I, Bill is unable to get to a, a sort of a quiet area, so what I want to do is make sure that we only spend our time with things that you want to know more about. I, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm working on a number of projects with a number of different people, and usually what I do, especially in the summer, it's tough to get the JV partners together because a lot of them are on vacation or doing things, but uh, here's, here's a time for you to be able to ask any questions that you have and I know that there's a number of people out there. I'm still waiting for Mitch Axelrod to ask me a question. Uh, Mitch, Mitch, if you're there, you, you should be asking a question. I think. Um, either you or Peter Fogel, who's on too. So, you know, one of you guys should ask me a question. Um, if you want, Peter. Uh, let's see here. Um, any other questions? So let's, let's give you guys a chance to ask anything, anything with regards to information marketing. Um, doing a lot of, still doing pretty well. Uh, last time I showed you, uh, some of you who haven't been on the call before, let me just show you this. So kdp.amazon.com, okay? This is where you want to go. Take a look at this URL here. So kdp.amazon.com, sign in, and you've got, yeah. let's see here. So here are all the things that I'm selling, and there's, if you want to show, show 50 of them because there's plenty. And this is it. So these are all the things that I, I market through the Amazon Kindle store, and there's a bunch of them. And I just completed my, well, the month just ended last night. And so month to date unit sales. Let's take a look at last month here. And if you total these up, the net units sold, and one of the things that really ticks me off, I can't believe that I sold 108 of this marketing your coaching services. That's in one month, by the way. Um, and I got four returns, and I'd like to know who these people are and why they return them, but you, you're going to get a certain number of returns. Um, here's Sell Your Brain Power, which is the second biggest seller. If you total all of these up, the net units sold, this month it comes to 270 units, and if you take a look at the prior six weeks royalties, so you'd have to, this is six weeks worth of royalties, so it's coming out to about 700 bucks, so if you take 700 700, that's divided that by 6, divided by 6, and you get my weekly rate. Now, by the way, I haven't done any writing at all in the past, um, oh gosh, I haven't done any writing at all in the past three months for the Kindle store, yet I continue to make 
the most, I mean, I, I still make consistently about $125 a week from work that's already been done. So if you haven't signed up at KDB, uh, here's Mitch. Mitch, what is that? Entranced by my genius. Nice. That's good. Uh, the best way to go from finished Word doc to sale on the Kindle, what's the, the best? Yeah. Mitch is asking, what's the best way to go from the finished Word document to, to selling it on the Kindle store? Mitch, I'll tell you, they have in here a um, Kindle does. Let me just show you how this works. So if you go to the bookshelf, right? These are all the various products. If you wanted to, you add a new title. Now, the problem is to do this, I have to enter it. But let me just show you something here. So you add a new title. And when you add the title, you have to put the name, the author's name, the description, all these things. And then it's there's upload your book cover here, which you want to get. And I get the people on Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, to do me Kindle covers, two for five bucks. Real big numbers here. And I'll show you what those look like here in a second. But Mitch, to upload your book, you literally just have to keep it. And they have, if you click on content guidelines, help help with formatting. So click on this link here. So it'll give you all this stuff on formatting. And basically, they want you to do it in Microsoft Word. And all of mine look pretty darn good. It's, it's fairly simple to do. But they want you to use an older version of Microsoft Word. So go to, when you sign up at Kindle, go to the formatting and the, simple, the simplified formatting guide here. You know, it's it's really pretty easy. Dot doc, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It it really is pretty darn simple. Even I can figure it out, Mitch. Just to let you know. So you've got this, but I want to show you what these. You know, what does this look like at the Amazon store? So I'll go into the Kindle store, and I'll put in my name. Okay. And so all of these. Now, for example, this cover, now this is the biggest seller right here, Marketing Your Coaching Services. Take a look at that cover. That was done for two and a half dollars by a guy on Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R, F-I-V-E-R-R. So it's Fiverr for your Kindle, Kindle covers. And I use a guy... And if you want to uh, email me, I forget, you know what it is, I forget is, but there are a bunch of people. If so, if you go, we'll do that in a second. So this is what the cover looks like. And, you know, a lot of these covers were done by the same person. Some of them, some of these were not done. This one was not done. This one was not done. I'll just click on the ones that were done. Like, you know, how to become an expert in any field. This was done by the Kindle guy. However, this one that's a lot more elaborate. This one, the Sell Your Brain Power, was not. That's a little bit more sophisticated looking. So this one was done by a Kindle guy, I mean the Fiverr guy. So what happens is I just went to Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, Fiverr.com, and I went and looked for, search for Kindle book covers. Okay, so I went to Kindle book covers. This is in Fiverr.com, and you will find uh, there's one guy that does them two for five dollars. So at you can't, you won't have to spend more than five bucks for a cover, but some of them will do two for five bucks. So, you know, yeah, I will create an ebook cover with three different versions and two revisions for five dollars. I mean, you can't go wrong. This guy's from the Philippines, I think, but you know, this is need an ebook cover. Want it formatted, blah, blah, blah. Take a look. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff here. And, uh, you know, again, you won't spend more than five bucks for your cover, is my point. So I hope that answers the question. Good. Um, uh, yeah, I do I market my stuff at the Kindle store is a question. The answer is Amazon is like the third largest search engine out there. So Amazon, people use Amazon as a search engine to find my stuff all, all the time. Uh, okay, yeah, let's see here. Let me see what, uh, what Scott is telling me here. Um, he had uh, Dave Hamilton set it up so that individual DVDs ship automatically from Kanaki where it's better, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, if you wanted to, you could use one of my other JV partners, and he is the web marketing magician. So that is web marketing. If you want somebody to help you putting any of this stuff together, magician 
and that's Dave Hamilton. Check his site out. Check him out. That's good. Um, so again, there's a lot of information, and uh, given the fact that we're having some audio problems, let me just see here. Let me see what Mitch has. You, uh, third party for layout for the Kindle. Uh, Mitch, Mitch is asking the questions on layout, laying your out, laying out your book for the Kindle store. Do you need a third party to help you lay it out? The answer is no, I don't. And by the way, Mitch, a lot of what I'm selling there are not book length stuff. There's just articles that are anywhere from you know two to three to four thousand words. So you can sell things that are called you know that we call articles, but the Kindle store will just have them set up. But you, you want to make sure that in your description, um, let's go back here for a second. Let me just show you this, and I'll answer the other part of your question. So in the Kindle store, if you go to my name, so, so what will happen? Let's take this, how to write a book in 30 days or less. One of the things you want to do is make sure that in your description, I put here, this is an article. And, and I, I usually tell people how long it is. Yeah, okay. Please note, this is an article about 3,000 words in length. So take a look at some of my descriptions to see, to make sure you don't get any returns or get few returns that you don't misrepresent it. So please note, this is an article. It's about 3,000 words in length, but don't be fooled. It's packed with immediately usable information about how to get your book written fast. Um, people will use Amazon like a search engine. They will find your Kindle material. Now, the nice thing is, all of you, let me just show you this. So let's say that you wanted to you want it to look inside. Watch this carefully. This is really, really important. So I click on this, and the first thing that you find is the cover. But soon after the cover, the next thing you find, and by the way, this is in all of these, you know, free offer to you as an Amazon customer. Want to learn how to market and sell information online? And I give them a link to my site. So if we click on this link, it is clickable, I believe it'll go directly to what I showed you earlier, which is my site here, so I can get them on my list. This is a great way to do this, because this way you don't have to, uh, you know, you get a ton of people that'll come and just be looking around on Amazon's site, and, and so what happens here is, let's go back to Amazon here. I screwed up and clicked, they didn't open up a separate window. So again, what I do is I make sure that everything that I put up on Amazon has within the first you know, few pages links to bounce back offers because I'm trying to get those people to go from there. And by the way, one of the things that all of you folks can do for me is any of my Amazon Kindle books that you think look interesting or whatever, um, I would you know, ask you to like them on Facebook and do this kind of stuff, and if you've read it, to review it. And by the way, if you're interested in becoming a reviewer for me, which is I send you stuff for free, you review it under the condition that you put up a, uh, an honest review on Amazon, you can send me an email, and let me just put this up here, because this is really kind of a cool idea, fredbleak at gmail.com and put reviewer in bold letters in the subject line, all caps, bold letters in the subject line, and say, you know, then that way I will send you articles that I've done or am doing for free, and in exchange for your, your getting those, all I ask is that, that you put up an honest review on Amazon, and hopefully if you don't like it, you tell me first and tell me what your gripes were with the, with the article or the book. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I, I give a lot of things away for free. You give, you know, one of the things is people always wonder why I give so much stuff away for free. I give a lot of stuff away for free because I'm, I'm you know, I'm crazy like a fox because I'm trying to get you into my system and eventually have you come come to my one of my information marketing boot camps, give me a lot of money, become a JV partner. My model is very different from, than most people. So my model of giving things away for free is for the purpose of getting people into my system and eventually getting the, them to do other things. So it depends on what your end game is and what you're trying to accomplish. But the purpose of the Kindle books is to get, there are a ton of people that use Amazon as a search engine. So let's say, for example, I went to, I'll use this, let's use this as an example, the book writing one, okay? So I'm here at Amazon. I went there and I'm just searching and saying, um, write a book uh, fast. Let's just say I used it like a search engine. Let's see if mine comes up quickly, okay? Write a book fast. It's not there. It's not there. 
Uh, now they have to put write a book in 30 days. Let's just put in write a book. How about write a book? Write a book. And let's say I want it in the Kindle store. Okay, so in the Kindle store, write a book. Where do I come up here? Of course, I'm not anywhere to be seen. Um, write that book, write a book in 60 days. So this person copied me and did, did one. And notice they have, uh, these reviews uh, might be bogus. Let's just check. I'm not sure, but let's see here. I'm just going to check and see what these reviews look like. By the way, he's priced it incorrectly. I would never price it at $6.99. That's crazy. Price it between $2.99, and let's see what his description is. Um, and again, I'm always a little bit suspect on these. Um, you know, again, I'm not sure. One of the things you want to look at is whether or not it's an Amazon verified purchase. So it's possible that all these reviews were written by his friends, although Midwest Review of Books, um, possibly not. So again, I would price your book properly between $2.99 and $9.99. Test it first, though, Mitch, at the lower price points. I think you asked that. So a lot of information here in a very short period of time. Uh, we're going to end for this week's session, but we're here every week, folks. So please tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone. Uh, to come back and see me next week where we'll do another session uh, of this particular webinar. And uh, I hope to see you then. So thank you very much for being here. We'll talk to you all soon and see you next week. Bye-bye. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.